Start with a fresh rack of ribs, give it a rinse under some cold water, then pat it dry with paper towel. Then go in and skin and trim the ribs. To get the membrane off the ribs, start with a butter knife, just enough so you can get your fingers under there. Then take a piece of paper towel just to give you some grip and pull it off. Flip the ribs over, cut them to square them up. You can see we got like a quarter piece of bone here. So we're going to take that off, cut along the rib line, and make it nice and square. After the ribs are all skinned and trimmed, give them a coating of oil and just rub it in. Then apply a coating of Meathead's Memphis dust. Flip it over and get the other side. Take the ribs, wrap them up in saran wrap, place them in the fridge at least an hour. To cook the ribs, we're going to be using our Weber 22 and a half inch kettle with Kingsford's original blue briquettes. Got our Maverick Ready Check set up, grill sitting around 225 degrees. Get your grill set up for two zone indirect cooking. To do that, we got a water pan on the bottom and a water pan over the hot coals on the one side. We're going to add four ounces of applewood directly on the charcoal. With the applewood starting to smoke, let's get those ribs on. Whew. We're also going to put on the pieces we trimmed off. Don't waste any meat. Ribs have been cooking for around half an hour now. Temperatures dropped to 200 degrees, so we got some more hot lit charcoal on our side burner there. We're going to add four more ounces of apple wood, so let's take a peek. Everything's looking good. Ribs have been cooking away for four hours now. Temperatures sitting right at 225 degrees. About an hour ago, we added a little bit more charcoal and filled up the top drip pan with two cups of water. To check the ribs, just take your tongs and quickly just bend them. You want to see it snap apart a little bit more than that? This little piece looked like it was all done, so we got to do some quality control and test it out. Ribs have been cooking for six hours now. Let's check them out. Grab them, give them a little bend. See how it's all just breaking apart? She's good to go. Just before you put a coating of sauce on the ribs, toss on around a quarter basket of hot lit charcoal. The sauce we're going to be using is Blue Hogs Barbecue Sauce. So just take your ribs, start on the back side. Look at that. Give them a good coating of sauce. Then just flip the ribs over and put them over direct heat. While it's over direct heat, give a good coating of sauce to the top of the ribs as well. After a minute, give the ribs a flip. Look at that. Gonna get a nice sticky caramelized sauce. Now you wanna keep your eyes on this. Ribs are all done, let's take them off and have a peek. Look at that. Mm. Let's get inside, cut them up, see how they look. Meatheads, last meal ribs, all done. Let's cut into them, see what they look like. Mmm, nice and juicy. Check it out. Nice thin smoke ring around. Still nice, filled with juice. Mm. Clean bite. Mmm. These are good. To find this recipe and loads more great barbecue information, go to AmazingRibs.com. It's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try.